Hey guys, Damon D'Amico here, D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. This is Kristen Reinhardt. She's going to help me out with our combined intermediate advanced West Coast swing class recap on September the 7th. Uh, so we ended up doing a couple of uh, different patterns here. Uh, interesting group. Again, our hearts go out to everybody that was affected by Hurricane Harvey. Um, and uh, we just hope that you're finding a way to smile. If you can make it to class, we're still offering free classes to those of you that were displaced by the storm. We don't want you to uh, not come to class because uh, you feel like uh, you don't have the money right now trying to recover. We want you to have fun coming to class. All right, so here's what we did. Uh, we started off with a little U-turn, which is a pattern that guys are leading out of the clubs. I just don't know that they're always expressing themselves properly. Then we did a whip where we took the hand off the shoulder, took it over the top, and gave her an open break to a free spin and back across to the other side. So that's what we did. This redirect here in the beginning, a couple of different things. One, I'm not a fan of this pattern when guys try to lead it and keep it single file. It gets freaky when you do that single file. It's not really fair to the ladies. It doesn't give them an opportunity to look good or style that up. So um, I typically will turn my body on the diagonal and give the lady a partial open door so that she steps more into my territory and then send her back. This uh, redirect usually causes the lady to dance the timing of this triple inverted a bit, so she ends up taking more time on the three instead of a half a beat of music, she uses a whole beat of music. So rather than going slow, slow, quick, quick, slow on the three and four, she ends up going slow, 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 quick, quick on the way out, so it changes the rhythm of that triple. So she does a slow, 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 quick, quick and out. If we're gonna keep it six counts, you know that if the music is dragging right there, long, flowy, single syllable words, I could always spend extra time here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can use whatever timing we want. We went ahead and used six count timing, but inverted that triple. So it went one, two, three, and four, five, and six. I prefer it that way. Guys, uh, the key point here is that as the lady goes between two and three, we need to ask her to decelerate and offer some compression so that she realizes that she's not gonna continue down the slot and uh, giving her the idea that she is gonna rebound and go back to the other end. I could make this feel like anti lock break, stay here. But as she arrives, I'm giving her some pressure to ask her to go away. Once I do that and redirect her, one, two, three, redirect her, then I need to take the slack out so that when the lady turns around, she finds the end of the slot and feels the need to anchor on the other end. A lot of times guys will do this one, two, and don't send her out at all. And then after you don't send her out, then you take the hand over here and it's extended, 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 and she feels no end on the other end. So get her to move out and then eat up the slack. So one, two, catch her. Get her to move out, eat up the slack, have her do an anchor. From here we did a whip. Um, we're gonna give her a J-hook lead here for a lack of a better version out there in the world to get the lady to flip it backwards, okay? So we're gonna back up and get her to flip. One, two, we do a triple, three and. On the three and, I'm still off the slot. The rotation between the and and the four is actually what redirects the lady on every whip and brings her back down the slot. But I don't wanna go all the way to the outside, which is what a lot of guys will do. So oftentimes, the guys will leave the lady to do a whip, sorry. We'll leave the lady to do a whip and go running around her to the outside. This is not gonna work out. We should be straddled on the four, on the F of four, and opening up, transitioning to the five as the lady goes out. This particular pattern, we go one, two, three, and straddle. Let go of this hand as you redirect her on the four and take this over the top of the hand that's on your shoulder, however you need to pick this up. Oftentimes when I do this, I'll have my left hand over the top, palm down, and I'll take my thumb underneath. And some way or another, you need to take this hand off. It could go to the outside, but it's rare that you're probably gonna get your fingers underneath your hand over there, and this is just messed up, so don't do it. So take it over the top and your thumb goes under. From here, this is the four. I open on the five and pick up the hand as she rolls out on the six. If I don't give the circle above her head here a little bit of energy, the lady will do a workaround anchor for seven and eight. And that's another pattern that you could totally do if you convey that. If you give that message that she just needs to float that, that's absolutely fine. In this case, we give it a little bit of energy when she gets to the six. So this goes five, give it a little energy, which makes her hip open out. From there, the hand gets stationary. As I change to the other hand, which I'll talk about again in a second, I stay still, she goes away, and I rebound her to the eight. So she goes ball change and eight of seven and eight. From here, I spin her right where she stands and let her momentum carry her to the other end of the slot as I get back in. From the other side, this goes one, two, three, and four, five, six, change the hand early, seven, keep it still, and give the lady the free spin. Ladies, your job when the guy cuts it short, as he short sheets you there, tells you you're gonna redirect to get your weight back onto your left foot for count eight. 
Guys, don't take the hand extended out in front of you. It creates slack and the lady doesn't feel the need to bungee back. So she goes from here and I take this over and she gets to six. When I roll her out, a lot of times guys will go like this and extend that toward you, toward the camera out there. And she has no feeling of come back. This actually needed to stop as I took this around her head on my side of the slot, which is upstage, not downstage of you. And from there, I'll catch her, keep that short, get her back to this foot. Ladies, you don't need to work so hard to do this spin. You've already got momentum and you're already prepped. So you have torque and momentum. So spin the paper plate under your left foot and spin where you stand, letting your momentum carry you past the men naturally. And guys, don't run around into the other end of the slot. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks for watching, you guys. Give us a time.